みなさん、こんばんは。私は、マスユー日本です。今日、一緒に新しい日本酒を飲みましょう。Everyone, this is Matthew in Nihon, and today I'm coming to you with yet another Nihon Shu review.、Uh, before we get started, however, I would like to issue a correction and an apology. Last week, when I reviewed the Toyosa Kari Futsu, I mistakenly stated that the town that it came from was called Fukutsu. That was a mistake. And I wish to offer a huge apology to both my viewers and the people of the town of Suyazaki, the actual town in which、uh, Toyomura Shuzo can be found.、Um, Yeah, I mean, to everyone, all I can say at this moment is, Hontoni tomo sumimasen. Please forgive me.、Um, and I will endeavor to do better in the future.、Um, I guess that brings me to the next point.、Um, I actually got a couple of comments about my shirt.、Um, a few people wondering why I keep wearing the same one. Well, I promise you, I am washing it. Uh, it's just sort of become my uniform.、Uh, when I, early in my studies, one of the Japanese teachers、uh, in my class saw me wearing the shirt and gave me the nickname the Pineapple Man. And I don't know, it just sort of seemed like a good uniform for these videos, so I started to use it. But with that aside, let's. Get started.、Um, someone had requested a double feature tonight. Unfortunately, I do not have the time, money, or ability to do that this week. It's been a very stressful week.、Um, but next week, I may have some time. So、uh, be prepared for the possibility of a double feature. But without any further ado, let's introduce today's Nihon Shu. The shot. The shot comes from a company that some of you might actually know.、Uh, the Sakakura is called Gekeikan, and they are actually one of the biggest distributors of Nihonshu in America.、Uh, however, up until this point, the only Gekeikan I've ever tasted is the stuff that could be bought in stores in the US. Uh, which, well, was not my favorite.、Um, the bottle that I just showed you was nasty. I could not stand the taste. I could not stand anything about it in any significant way. Well, actually, I guess the only significance is in how much I disliked it. But.、Uh, Obviously, since I've started working on Nihonshu, learning about it and drinking it, I've been surprised as we saw last week. So, I'm going to give this one a try. Now, as I stated, this comes from the Sakakura Gekeikan. And Gekeikan is a Sakakura that can be found in Fushimi,、uh, Kyoto. It's It was actually founded in the year 1637 by a man named Jiemon Okura.、Um, it is actually one of the world's oldest companies, which I found rather interesting. It's a member of something called the Henokiens,、uh, French, so I'm probably butchering the pronunciation.、Um, But the, the Henokiens is an association of companies that have managed to remain operating and remain family operated、um, or family owned for 200 or more years, which I did not expect. I mean, I guess I should be, shouldn't be surprised.、Um, I mean, Japan has a lot of culture and a lot of history, and Gekeikan is apparently part of that history. So, with that aside, let's get started on talking about the shot. Now, the shot 
is apparently a daiginjo or approaching daiginjo. It is a very high polish on the rice. I do not have specifics on how polished it is. Um, but I can tell you that it has fermented to about 15-16%. Um, on the sweet to dry scale, it seems to be around a zero. Um, and apparently there is actually a rich and light scale here that I don't know a lot about. Uh, I will look into it and give you more information in the future. But this is a lightish Nihon shoe. And of course, I would not do a review without a food pairing. So today we're eating kakiyage, kuroke, anago sushi, and menachi meguro, a form of uh, big eye tuna sashimi, and kimchi course. And now it's time to begin the pour. Now because this is a daiginjo or ginjo, it's important that it be served cold. The problem is is that if you were to take a high quality Nihonshu like any kind of ginjo or daiginjo for the most part, um, usually if you heat it up, it loses some of the flavor. It loses the subtlety and complexity of the drink. Meanwhile, the inverse is actually true for futsu, where because it's low quality, you, they heat it up specifically to cover up those flaws and make it more enjoyable to drink. Now, that is not an absolute for all futsus, as we saw last week. But generally speaking, that is the case. So... Let's open. And here we go. Now we come to my favorite part, the drinking. Hmm. It doesn't seem to have too much of a scent. Um, what is there is very clean. Um, almost like grass, like freshly washed grass. That is interesting. Um, it is very clean. It's very smooth. Um, far more smooth than the uh, futsu uh, from last week. Or uh, far more clean tasting. Uh, the futsu last week was pretty smooth. Um, it's got... Definitely has mushroom notes. Um, very herbal quality to it. Uh, it's not particularly sweet. I would definitely, it's, um, it's actually kind of like right in the middle. Um, it's a little tangy has just a little bit of a spicy edge to it, but it's uh, all in all very refreshing, which is surprising. Um, 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the sashimi today. I think this is one where, well, usually you want to start with the cleaner flavors first. If you go, if you go too sweet too fast, you contaminate the rest of the taste. Oh, wow, that is amazing sashimi. Mmm. It's actually much better than the sashimi I bought uh, last week. Oh, that is nice. Soft, almost buttery. Speaking of which, when paired with the Nihonshu, it, it has a kind of a buttery flavor to it. That's nice. I like that a lot. Mm. Yeah, I think that is the best comparison to make there. It, it gives it um, kind of a, a, a buttery side. It's not strong. It's just enough to kind of allow the, the flavors to interact to get, or play together in interesting ways. I am really liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And next, uh, let's try the anago, the uh, eel. Sushi. I have a feeling this is going to be on the sweeter side. So, uh... Mmm. Mmm. I really like that, that sushi. Okay. It doesn't seem to be changing the flavor in any major way. It's almost like the Inago and the uh, Nihonchu just kind of slide right past each other. I'm going to try one more time. Just to see if there's anything particular that stands out. Again, I guess there's a hint of uh, that buttery flavor that um, comes to mind. A little more subtle, but part of it, I think, is because the sauces on the sushi are already kind of sweet. So that buttery flavor just kind of mixes with them and it just rounds it out just a little bit more. I, that's not bad. Not bad. I like that. And why don't we try the kimchi? Hmm. Again, about the same effect, nothing particularly stand out. It's, it does seem to blend a little bit more with the uh, flavor of the kimchi. It, it, it reduces the spiciness of the kimchi and it gives it a bit more of a sweet, a subtly sweet flavor. Um, okay, that's... That's not bad. I think part of the nature of this Nihonshu being sort of right in the middle, as it is, it, it, the effects that it has when paired with food are more subtle. Still good, but subtle. Let's go for the croque, uh, croque now. 
Okay, uh, the kroke brings out the uh, less buttery, the more um, herbal notes of the uh, Nihonshu, really. Mm. It, 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 because the kroke, I think, is already sweet, it's cutting out the sweetness of the Nihonshu and leaving you with the strictly herbal uh, flavors. And let's go ahead and use or try the um, Kakiyage. I had to check my notes. I forgot the name of it. This is my first time eating this, actually. Mmm. Yeah, I think it's about the same. Uh, because the kakiyage is more oily, uh, kind of that deep fried flavor, it, it again kind of negates the sweetness of the Nihonshu and leaves you with strictly the the drier, er, more herbal side of it. But it's not... I, I, it's really not bad. It kind of depends on what you're in the mood for. Um, I guess this is a nice kind of Nihonshu that can kind of work right in the middle. Um, you can have it with whatever you're eating, and you'll get a, you'll get an interesting experience. Personally, I think I prefer this. I prefer pairing this with drier foods uh, like the the sushi and the uh, sashimi, or uh, and the the kimchi, rather than with the deep fried. But um, it still it was it was quite interesting. It was quite interesting. Um, but I guess that brings us to the end of this review. Uh, so, another moment when I check my notes. I want to make sure that I'm thanking people uh, because I do wind up asking for help a lot of the time. I can speak Japanese, some Jap or I can speak Japanese, and I can read a bit, but my kanji is still lacking. So a lot of the time, whenever I prepare one of these reviews, I need to ask some people to help translate and make sure my information is correct. So I would like to personally thank Maya-san, uh, Yuki, and another Maya, actually, uh, Anna, Midori, and I would also like to make sure I thank each and every one of you, my viewers. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your, parent, or your patience as I kind of figure out the kinks and work out the shooting methods for these reviews and hopefully start to improve my quality and i really well hope to talk to you again the next time uh, so until next week please remember always be willing to go beyond the horizon and always be willing to try new things also in times like this don't give up however bad things might get there's still the possibility of something new on the other side. So, take care, everyone. Minasan, kyoku tsukete kudasai. Jamata.